Hi, I'm Teresa. We are from Reef Check Malaysia. We are the winners of the Star Golden Hearts Awards 2024. As the saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child. It also takes a community to rehabilitate coral reefs. Reef Check Malaysia, a marine conservation non-governmental organisation, relies on the local community to preserve Malaysia's beautiful coral reefs through its community marine conservation groups. One of our core programme of work is actually uh, Reef Check Surveys. Uh, where we do reef health monitoring at more than 300 different sites across the country. So Ecodivers are the volunteers who help us do the reef monitoring surveys. And in terms of uh, volunteers that we have, we have trained more than 1,000 Ecodivers around the country. We also train more than 100 local islanders to take part in conservation work with us. Reef Check Malaysia has also skilled the community groups to Mersing, Pulau Redang and Semporna. To eight local members, Ng said a reef rehabilitation toolkit was launched this year as a step-by-step -step guide to replant corals. So our coral rehabilitation methodology is, involves a lot of local community. It's more citizen science, so it does not you know, entail you to have a marine biologist degree. Ideally, our long-term goal is for local community to be the ones who are responsible and empowered um, to undertake marine conservation actions, and um, it, it won't be just Reef Check Malaysia doing the work. Reef rehabilitation is to identify damaged coral reef areas and then regrow corals by transplanting live corals from other areas. Coral fragments that have been recently damaged, either by a storm or by perhaps an unsuspecting tourist accidentally kicking the corals. Um, so we'll try to rescue these coral fragments. We'll attach them to the glass bottles and every week we will actually go down and do maintenance. Ng says it takes a year of maintenance and monitoring and when the coral fragments have grown larger, they can survive on their own. Another one of Reef Check Malaysia's main projects are reef surveys. Ng says they will monitor over 300 sites every year with the help of more than 1,000 eco-divers. Yes, we do this annually at the same sites. We use a GPS to mark the exact same locations. So the first thing we do is we lay a 100-metre transact tape and the divers will use this underwater slate to count certain indicator species. Each trip, depending on where we go, ranges between 10 to 12 dives at each time. And with all this information, it gives us an overview of how the health of the marine ecosystems are doing around these areas. The team also removes fishing nets which get stuck on the corals. Ng says these nets may not be from Malaysian waters, but had drifted from other places. Once we get the report, we'll work with the local islanders to remove these ghost nets because uh, what happens is a lot of marine animals, marine creatures get tangled in the ghost nets and unfortunately they would you know, starve or they'll end up um, dead. The other thing is crown of thorn starfish removal. So crown of thorns is a coral predator. They will eat healthy corals. So if there's an outbreak, um, let's say there's more than a certain amount of crown of thorn starfish in an area, and then we'll start um, trying to remove them, either by physically taking them on shore and burying them, or we inject them with a vinegar concoction, which would kill them. Established in 2007, Reef Check Malaysia started with the goal of monitoring reef health and have since branched out to community-based conservation programs such as advocacy and promoting sustainable marine tourism in the country. The team has since expanded to 21 staff with offices in Pulau Redang, Pulau Tioman, the Mersing Group of Islands, and in Sabah, Semporna, Kota Kinabalu, and Mantanani Islands. So a lot of people do not realise that coral reefs are actually the habitats for a nursery grounds for fishes. Right? So it's actually a very important source of our food security in the future. If there's no more coral reefs, we might get less fish stock. And seafood is, you know, is an important diet, especially for Malaysia. And besides that also, coral reefs and the marine ecosystems, they're important for economic livelihood, especially for coastal communities. So it's not just about protecting the environment, but it's protecting our livelihoods and food security in the future. Ng urged the public to participate in caring for the reefs through ways like using reef-safe sunscreen and eco-friendly products, as well as choosing eco-friendly holiday operators. 
some of the major threats to our ecosystem, unsustainable fishing or overfishing in our waters. We also have impacts from unsustainable tourism, you know, things like, you know, you've seen people maybe like snorkeling or diving and, you know, stepping on corals. And also with things like fish feeding or turtle feeding just to get the perfect selfie. You're just, you know, changing their diets and changing how the whole ecosystem interacts. Happy 10th anniversary to the Star Golden Hearts Awards. Amazing effort through all these years.